I'm Johnny. And it's time to get started. And I'm going to scratch the surface here of rhetoric. And when I say surface, I mean just the barest top level here. Because while some of it seems like ancestor worship, there's some real depth. There's a tendency amongst some of us to think that if we just throw enough facts at somebody, they'll get the truth. Now, this is basically uncharted territory for me. This is not something I normally explore, but I'm deeply, deeply dissatisfied with the state of political discourse. And if you look at my videos in the past, you can see this as a theme that's been bubbling through. But as you can imagine, things have come to a head. We really need to learn how to convince one another better. Because trust me, Yelling at one another on Facebook isn't working oh, and it's, it's only going to get worse before it gets better. Before it gets better. So there's this whole psychological thing called the backfire effect. This is essentially why yelling at one another on Facebook isn't working. People have a tendency to really dig into their beliefs when confronted with evidence to the contrary. Now, there's already been a lot written about this. What I want to focus on is how to overcome that. Now, one way to do this is to actually prime the target with self-affirming attributes. You're basically strengthening their own self-image. And this works because of cognitive dissonance. Okay, now wait a second. What the hell is that, you might be asking? Cognitive dissonance is the process where when you're faced with an idea that goes against what you believe, your mind has two choices. It can either reject its belief or reject the idea. Guess which one it probably chooses 95% of the time. But in first, you help buttress their identity before presenting them with conflicting information, then they're far more likely to accept that information because their sense of self is not so tied up in their beliefs and their ideologies. Basically, rejecting a belief that they have feels a lot less like suicide. Now, another thing to keep in mind is the idea of in-group membership. We're more likely to accept beliefs when it's a member of our family or a member of our tribe espousing those beliefs than an outsider. And when it comes to this, having and maintaining empathy for the people you're trying to convince is going to be paramount. So here's the thing. Even in this video, I've used some pretty interesting language. On purpose even. Target. Opponent. But these are people too. And this ties in with the whole empathy thing. If you're busy painting somebody else with a wide brush and putting them into an outgroup, how can you really understand their arguments? How can you really understand their point of view in hopes to even change it? But it needs to be done, not only because if you want to make a better argument, you should know the arguments that go against your own, but because ultimately they are people and to convince them you must understand that. Again, I'm really just scratching the surface here myself, but this is on my mind because there's work to be done. And until next time, cognitive dissonance is fun.